Oh, shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Cue laugh track. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. I think this vending machine could be improved. <laughs> oh yeah, I get it. Nurse, I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. Is this Mikey's room? Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Uh, I I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Hey. Just heard the fire. Those guys like, look exhausted. Down. You mean it's controlled? No. It's completely out. Unless you get stabbed.
No visitors. Huh? Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs... Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... <laughs> Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should... Huh. <laughs> Those must be from Steph's parents. Ah, oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? <laughs> Mikey's nurses must love this. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change.
Hey, can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? I mean, I just played with them once. It was epic. It was a little epic. Yeah. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You gotta save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the Traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kinda have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, yeah. I totally did that. You totally did. This game is awesome. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Sup? Sup? I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Sounds like you could use a hand from your favorite elf barbarian. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on... everything. Suddenly, Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Ah, uh, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, shit. Hmm. Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Can I... you know... 
Feel it out first. Totally. Roll for perception. <laughs> 19. You become still, channeling your elf hearing into the caves. Inside, you hear something moving around. It sounds squishy. And possibly very, very evil. Okay. Not the cave. Got it. Not so fast. You now turn to listen to the forest. You hear the spirits of those buried there, whispering to each other. This is sacred ground. Okay. Come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. Maybe the dragonkin won't follow us into the caves. Let's go there. I guess I don't have a better plan. You plunge into the darkness. The uneven, rocky terrain beneath your feet makes it difficult to navigate. You come around a corner to find a cube of bright green goo sitting in your path. Dead rats float around inside it, slowly dissolving. <sighs> of course. It's a gelatinous polyhedron. You fall into it. Ugh. Seriously? It starts to burn your skin. A little at first, but the pain only grows the longer you stay stuck. I cast Scorching Scythe. Your flame-made scythe slices the gelatinous polyhedron in half, freeing your companion. <laughs> But, right before your very eyes, the two halves grow and shift until you're face to jelly with two full gelatinous polyhedra. Damn. Your move. Let's see, uh, astral axe. That sounds destructive as shit. You swing your axe with the power of a small sun slicing each of the cubes into thirds. <laughs> but yet again, the chunks of jelly grow and shift until you're looking at a small army of six gelatinous polyhedra. Wh where do you keep getting these? A good game master is always prepared. The polyhedra engulf you, burning any exposed skin and searing your clothes. Take 12 damage. I cast. Ring of fire. You send out a burst of fire, exploding the polyhedra into hundreds of tiny pieces. Um, let's try rage roll. You curl up into an angry little elf ball and roll furiously around the caves, smashing each of the little jelly bits into even more, even littler jelly bits. Uh, I feel like we should run. Run screaming. Luckily, gelatinous polyhedra have a very low movement speed. The party flees safely, but the polyhedra aren't far behind. You're near the exit of the caves when you run across... Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? Yeah, little brother. Pavel... The arrogant gnome bard joins your party. Arrogant? You're not used to words that big, are you? Damn. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? There's probably a squirrel somewhere that you could fight. I don't need violence to solve my problems. I just need the power of music. This is awesome. Fine but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of gelatinous polyhedra has caught up to you. Several spew acid directly at Elamon. What do you do? I grab the bard and use him to shield Elamon. Whoa, hey, can she do that? All's fair in love and tabletop. You whip the bard's little body back and forth, catching every spear as they fly at you. The gnome shrieks, perfect F-sharp with 
every impact. That was sick. Oh my god. You're a monster. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap, and you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of gelatinous polyhedra arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything, including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one Bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. <sighs> I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? So you've never used this spell before. You've also never died. It's gonna be a first time either way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. I, I can't leave you behind. You're, like, the most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. No, Calamastia, I won't just kill you. You'll kill all of these monsters, too. Think of how many lives you'll be saving by nuking their stuff. Stupid faces off. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Elamon secures the bracer of fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the elf barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring, then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow, as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe. For everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? No words, but I do flip all the monsters the double bird. Way to keep the moment going. The spell comes to a spectacular climax, until all you can see is white. Then, all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead? 
And the game's over? Yep. And Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well, what if I make a new character? Wait, really? You want to keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh... Don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Okay. Really can't wait to see her. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost- You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. 
My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll, I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. I, I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. I guess I'll stop by after I see Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. Kind of weird that Rachel's being so private, isn't it? No, it's really not. Chloe, I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. 
Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Oh. Hey, I, uh, I almost forgot. Did you... Like, right on my whiteboard? <laughs> I totally did, didn't I? Yeah. I was, uh, pretty sure that was your handwriting. What did I write? You wrote me a poem? Emotional, loyal, etc. Ended with, uh, talented? Oh. Well, uh, you are pretty talented, man. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any... Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? <laughs> More sherry. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully, there's a key around somewhere. Best dad? <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Found you.
Welcome to Shadyville. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? say hope James actually has this evidence don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is unless I send him a picture Arcadia Bay's least wanted. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take... If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe... <laughs> it's the big one. Better not touch that again.
him. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. 
What is he doing to her? Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. What is... Ah! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... stop suggesting that she's somehow... Bad the for... next day, she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end. As usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look, I, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but- This isn't about that. S seriously, man, you, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress, and I don't mean on stage, she's fake. You're real, and- I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened, Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but- I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. 
Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm attempting to move on, but it feels like I'm being blocked against my will. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this, and I want you to know that I will always be there for you, no matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? 
I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure mom would never fall in love with someone like David too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? You know what, Dad? Never mind. I don't, I don't need to know. I like it better this way. What way? That I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? No word. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Don't tell me what to do. Glad to see the bone made. <sighs> oh. 
I'm not afraid. Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture, so that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got the money right here. Your money. Want it? How the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. <laughs> Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! You are one stupid, crazy bitch. Shoulda never got mixed up in this shit. The DA's family? An out-of-town junkie? And now, high school girls? What a fucking mess. It's okay. A girl's first time should be special. No. Not so tough now, are you? Go to hell. <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, you touch her again, and I'll kill you. Is that so? Try me. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Right. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... Sarah? 
Chloe Price. Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel can never know. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented, and she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. 
She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So? 
How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah, me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Because, why should she be any different from the rest of us?
Thank you.